damn, the day is what you make it. So make it a good one. We got a new segment idea. Good morning, I love it. I'm a face mask. Staying warm out there in the January cold. You know, we got blue sky. I mean, is it January? Come on. Woo! So, new product segment idea. It's called Bike Review Tuesday or Book Review Tuesdays. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Book Review Tuesday. So, first book is bike related. Bicycle Diaries. Good morning. Bicycle Diaries by David Byrne. Good morning. So I want to read a couple experts out of it, starting with one on page 43. So the book was good, although I didn't like the fact that he used a blog to just kind of create a book. So a lot of people, they create a blog and uh, they write a book about it. Basically, he travels all over the world. Woo, boy, that's good. They travel all over the world. He travels to a couple different cities and writes about it. But it's really just a bunch of blog posts you're reading, which I hate. Okay, Europeans' attitude towards their landscape is to cultivate the content as if it were a vast garden. Beautiful, huh? While Americans prefer to subdue the landscape by force, paving over vast areas or planting miles of single crop, like corn that stretch the horizon. Okay, I don't have time for anyone else, any more else, any, any other uh, segments. So I'm going to read this last one. We're going to close with that. I'm in my mid, good morning. Okay, I'm in my mid 50s, so I can only can testify that biking is a way of getting around. It's not something only for the young and energetic. You don't really need the spandex unless you want it to be. Biking is not necessarily all that strenuous. It's the liberty feeling, the physical, the psychological sensation that is more persuasive than any practical argument. Seeing things from a point of view that is close enough to pedestrians, vendors, storefronts, combined with getting around in a way that doesn't feel completely divorced from the life that occurs on the street is pure pleasure. He hits it right on the nose in the last paragraph of the book. That's the segment, 2.5 out of five stars. I'm not gonna recommend the book unless you're like a diehard like traveler and bicyclist. I mean, overall, I don't think he does an amazing job with literary stuff. He does bring up some cool, interesting perspectives, some of which I hit on in those experts today. That's the segment.